Araman Chez is remembered as the exotic site of the Normandy landings, and in particular as the place where an artificial port was installed. This artificial port allowed 9,000 tons of material to be unloaded per day. At dawn the next day, guns of the Allied fleets opened the assault on the beaches of Normandy. The tremendous problem of communication and supply still remain. For those who planned the invasion, this had always been a major problem, which could only be overcome if a port was captured in the first few days of the campaign. There were plenty of good ports on the French coast, Boulogne, Le Havre, Cherbourg, and the rest. They were the gateways into the continent. But the Germans knew it. Hold the ports, they said, and we hold Europe. They believed that before we could capture a port, the changeable channel weather would cut off our army from its food, oil, and ammunition. The weather, as well as the Germans, could be our enemy. It was on the beach of Aramanches that during the invasion of Normandy on D-Day, June 6, 1944, the Allies established an artificial temporary harbor to allow the unloading of heavy equipment without waiting for the conquest of deep water ports such as La Havre and Cherbourg. Aramanches was one of two sites chosen to establish the necessary port facilities to unload quantities of supplies and troops needed for the invasion during June 1944. The other was built further west at Omaha Beach. The British built huge floating concrete caissons which after being towed from England then had to be assembled to form walls and piers creating the artificial port called the Mulberry Harbor. These pontoons were linked to the land by floating roadways. One of these ports was assembled at Aramanches and even today sections of the Mulberry Harbor still remain with huge concrete blocks sitting on the sand and more can be seen further out to sea. <laughs> 